Welcome, welcome, Facebook Live. Uh, again, this is Rich Fontaine. How you doing, Jazz? And <laughs> she'll show me some love. And uh, I appreciate everyone taking time to, out of your busy day to watch this. Like the great Jay-Z said, you could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate it. And I had a different talk uh, scheduled for today that I wrote down. Um, speaking of schedule, if you saw my video yesterday, but I had inspired, <laughs> I, I was inspired to do something a little bit different today. Amika, what's going on, brother? Uh, Juan, how you doing, brother? Uh, I really appreciate you guys taking your time to watch this. And I realized something this morning that I knew for a long time that I really want to talk about is don't trust your thoughts when you're tired. I remember one time I was with my fiance and we were talking about this venture that we were doing and I asked her and I sat there and I said, do you think I'm in over my head? Do you think I'm just doing too much? Do you think I'm just trying too hard? Like, is this really even going to work? Like, is this even going to be possible? Like, are, are we even doing the right thing? Are we just, are we just being ridiculous? And she said, you must be tired. Because <laughs> you don't normally talk this way. And I'm like, you're right. And as fatigue comes, that's when you are the most vulnerable. Because the great Jim Rohn said, stand guard at the doorway of your mind. But it's hard to stand guard when you're fatigued. When everything seems a little bit overwhelming. You didn't get enough sleep that night before. And it's just like the vulture. What does the vulture do? The vulture attacks when the animal's already dying. That's how the negative, that's how the devil works in your mind. If you ever read Napoleon Hill's Outwitting the Devil, he loves when you're tired, when you're at your weakest point. That's when he creeps in. Notice it. Have you ever really have started having negative thought patterns when things are not, when you're tired, when you're a little bit more fatigued? That's when things start to act upon you. And I noticed that in my own life is when I start having negative thoughts, it's because I'm tired. I remember I was listening to T.D. Jakes once and he said, I'm tired now. <laughs> Meaning, uh, you might get some answers that you may not like because I'm tired. I might say some things that is out of my character because I'm tired. When you're fatigued and you're feeling beat down, when you haven't had your coffee yet, that's when you're at your weakest. That's when the negativity creeps in and whispers in your ear, you can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it. It's like when you're running, if any runners or joggers, and you're hitting that wall. Les Brown talks about this in that speech, that eight mile wall, when you're just running and you're, and you're pumping and you're, you're almost to that last edge, you're almost to that last bit, and your legs are tired, your knees is hurting, everything in telling you, you can't do it, just give up, throw in the towel, it's over, let's just go to the side and rest, and that's when you have to push the hardest, because at your weakest point, that's when the negativity is going to flood you. When you're down and out, that's when the negativity is going to come and wait for you at your house. The devil loves to chill at your home. <laughs> when you come home and you're tired, that's when he's sitting on your couch and says, how was your day? <laughs> yeah, you feeling motivated now? And that's the time when you have to reprogram or keep that positivity in your mind. Every morning I listen to something positive. I listen to Les, I listen to Jim, I listen to Eric, I listen to Bob. And I consider these guys are my family. I call Les my gr uh, Grandpa Les. I call Uncle G, Uncle G. <laughs> I call Gra uh, Gary, my cousin Gary. I call Bob Proctor, my grandfather Bob, because they feed into me. Like a great family or friend would. They said, Rich, you can do the dream. You're just tired. So let me fill you in. Let me replace those thoughts with my own, what I believe in you. So when you have that one side telling you all the things that you can't do, you have to add into the other side all the things that you can't. Let those people feed you. Let the motivators feed you. Let the books feed you. Let the articles feed you. Let the music feed you. Let it feed your soul when you're at your downest point because you're in a battle. You're always in a war between their negative thoughts and your positive thoughts because your negative thoughts will constantly tell you what you can't and cannot do. 
It'll constantly bring up your past. It'll constantly bring up your old failures. But when you hear somebody motivational, when you hear somebody that says, I believe in you, Rich. I did it myself. I was in your position. I was in your seat. And I did it. And here's why I did it, because I had mentors. So all these men are my mentors because they offset the negative thoughts that happen when you're tired. So next time you feel tired, Listen to some Les, listen to some Eric, listen to some Bob, listen to some Tony. You don't have to even listen to me. Listen to whoever you want to. Listen to some Joel. It doesn't matter what you listen to, but listen to something that feeds you, feeds your soul, and let it get emotional into you. Like today I was working out, I got teary-eyed listening to something uh, I think Les was saying because he was talking to me. TD was talking to me. Listen, when you're at your down moment, they've been there. Always listen to people that's been in the dirt. A lot of people are motivational, a lot of people have something to say, but listen to the people that's already been in the dirt. Because if you've never been in the dirt, you don't know how it really is. I see a lot of people talk. A lot of people talk a good game. My grandmother said, you talk a good game. But have you been in the dirt? Have you been in the struggle? What have you proven to yourself that you can and can't do? Listen to positive people that have been there. And that will instill in you the right things you need to hear that will keep you going. So again, when you're feeling tired, you're feeling fatigued, it's been a long day, it's been a long week, you had an argument with your spouse, you're running, and the, your knees and your back is hurting, listen to something that feeds you positively. So you can offset that devil in your mind that's telling you what you can't. Again, Steve, Kristen, appreciate you guys taking your time to watch this. Um, again, you, either you could agree with me or not agree with me, but either way, I feel that this was a successful conversation. Love is love. I appreciate all of you. I believe in all of you. I know you can do it. And believe me, even as a motivator, I have my days when I'm tired when the thoughts aren't the most positive and I have to refill my mind consistently of Rich, you can do it. And I listen to my mentors that say, Rich, you can do it. You can manifest it. You will have it. Just keep going and never give up. Love you all. Namaste.